All right, here is another example. Let's say that your radius is equal to 6 meters. Your area is equal to 8 square meters. What is your angle measure equal to? Alright, so our formula is area equals 1 half times r squared theta. So we could go ahead and solve for theta now and just use the variables and solve. Or we could just plug in what we have and solve for theta. That's probably the best bet on this one. So we're given that the radius is 6. The area is 8. Alright, so 8 equals 1 half times 6 squared times theta. Okay, so 8 equals 1 half times 36 times theta. So 8 equals 18 times theta. So to solve for theta, we need to divide both sides by 18. Okay, so we get theta equals 8 over 18, which reduces to what? 4 over 9. Um, it would depend on what the direction said. If the directions say round the two decimal places, or round the three decimal places, then you'd want to divide and then leave it as a decimal. Um, and your directions here on this particular problem do say round to three decimal places. So if we did that on this one, if we divide 4 by 9, we get 0.4 repeating. Okay, so it's 0.4 repeating, and we round to four, or no, I'm sorry, three decimal places. Go to the third decimal place, the number after it's four, it needs to be five or greater to round up. So it stays the same. So it's 0.444. And it's 0.444 radians.